Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of Lunging a Yearling. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to be teaching him to lope. Now, he already knows how to do this, but he does like to stop. And so we're going to work on that. Um, we're going to teach you guys how to get them in the correct lead if they get in the wrong lead. Um, you'll see me bump him. I'll bring him back down to a trot, and then I'll ask again. I want to make sure when I'm asking, if I'm going to left this left leg, it's full when I ask. Because if I wait till it's back here, he'll get in the wrong lead every time. So you want to make sure you're asking at the right time. Um, remember, always walk, trot, lope. Never go straight from a lope if you're just going to teach him, want to go fast, want to go fast, want to go fast. But in today's episode, we're going to go from trot to a lope just so we could work on this, so we could show you. So you're not watching a 15 minute video on me yakking away and but let's get started As you can see, he's not pulling on me like he used to. Like I said, if he gets in that wrong lead at a lope, bump him a couple times. Bring him back down to a truck. Wait until that, leg, that lead and leg comes out and then ask him. But you don't ever want to let him go too long in that wrong lead because then they'll get it in their head that it's okay to be in that wrong lead and it's, it takes a while to get him out of that. I have a mare, five-year-old mare, that I've spent months getting her to get in the correct lead because in her mind, the wrong lead was okay lead. I mean, it's okay when you're teaching them to cross canter, but you don't want them to do it when you're not wanting it. But if you're struggling to get them in that, uh, get them to lope, this is what I do. Down the road. 
bed, put that chain lead on, remind them that it's there. Remind them, you know, that they can't be dragging you around. It's just they wear from pressure and release. So you give, put that on there, bump them a couple of times real lightly. You got to do it hard. And they'll realize that, hey, I can't do this. I can't be pulling on them. I, I used it once to do that video. And now he, I mean, you see the slack in the lunge line. It works. Some horses, it takes a little bit of time. Some, it don't. Him, it took once. That was it. And remember, always cool down. Always. So what I like to do, like I said in previous videos, you can always, I'll come out here. You can always use your lunge whip. Use it desensitize. So they know that it's not going to hurt them. I like to go up around, go around the back legs, go around the front legs. I'll hold it up short and just go like this. Go around their head like this. Do it on both sides. What else I like to do is I like to, I'll bring them up here. I'll work on things while he's cooling down. Back, 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 back. I'll work on that. Or I'll work on doing this. With your yearlings, uh, you can also work on adding pressure to their back. If they add a little pressure. With me, I weigh next to nothing. So I usually recruit a friend and help add some pressure to that back so they can get used to that saddle. But if you guys need any help, let me know. Comment. I'm more than welcome to make another video just for you. Um, me and Clyde say thank you for watching and be uh, sure to tune in for our next video. It uh, will be a great little video on uh, saddle breaking him. Um, I'm not going to be doing any riding on him, but I will be getting him introduced to a saddle. A very, very lightweight saddle. So be tuned to wait for that video. Um, I, I'm going to spend a lot of time on that. So that way those who need help um, introducing that the proper way will be able to get the help through that video. But thank you for watching and come back and see us again. God bless.